Now that we've recorded audio, let's look at how to edit what you have. Right now we have one region of music. This blue rectangle is called a region of music. If I pinch and expand my fingers, I can zoom in. You can see where there are lines up and down. They look like scribbles almost. That's where my audio is. Where you see a straight horizontal line, that's where there's silence. I'm going to zoom back out by pinching my fingers together. If I want to split this one region into two regions, I can do that by moving the playhead to where I want to split it. I know there's no audio there because I see my horizontal straight line. It's a good place to split these regions. So I'm zooming out again. To split the regions, just double click the region you see. I get this menu again. I'm going to click on split. The scissors on the triangle are how you split these regions. Click on it and drag down. And now, if I click anywhere else, you'll see I have two regions. Let me move the playhead back. I have two different regions. So if I want to move my second region ahead in time, I just click on it and drag it to the right. This button up here is undo. Very handy if you split your region where you don't want to or you move it somewhere inadvertently and you're not sure where you moved it from, you can just click undo to move it back. I've now undone everything I've just did. It's now one giant region again. So let's quickly go through splitting regions one more time. I move the playhead to where I want to split the region. I double click the region, select split, drag the scissors down. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to move ahead in time, double click the region, select split, drag down. I now have three regions of music that I can manipulate independently. So if I wanted space between certain parts of my research project, if I want a dramatic pause or if I wanted to add music in between paragraphs, this is how I would set up my vocal recording.